In this segment of Club Apple, I'm going to go over what the watch is capable of now with Watch OS 2 without an iPhone being on a Wi Fi connection. So let's dig into it here. So, uh, an awesome Mac Rumors member did a kind of field test of what happens when you connect your Apple Watch to Wi Fi without your iPhone present. This is a new feature of Watch OS 2 where it'll connect to any hotspot your iPhone is connected to. It has all of those passwords and will automatically connect to hotspots that your phone has before. So your watch can do things without your phone uh, now, more so than it could in the past. And he's gone through this uh, member Fried Mud on uh, Mac Rumors. Um, this is dated September 22nd, 2015. And this is what it can do when it's uh, standalone, I guess. Um, hopefully more support for standalone stuff comes with watch OS 3 and I want to see the watch become more and more its standalone thing where it doesn't need the phone as much. I'd love to see a LTE enabled watch, but uh, all in good time. So stuff that works with the phone turned off. Native third party apps. That's right. So third party apps have full access to Wi-Fi and can fully function without the use of an iPhone. So uh, Dark Sky will update uh, the forecast and the complication and other things. The app is fully functional without the iPhone present. Messages. So sending and receiving messages, including Siri. Now I'd imagine this would be iMessage only. I'd imagine SMS would require that, but I'm not positive. Maybe there is some Wi-Fi relay that happens and lots of built-in apps will work with the phone powered off. Um, and we're gonna dig into some of the things that do work and don't work in a bit here. So, um, stuff that doesn't work. Um, the first thing is email. So the native email client will not work with the iPhone disconnected. It will not load new emails in here. It can't reply to emails. That's all relayed through the iPhone. Now, I'd imagine a third-party app like Outlook or um, some of the other email clients could possibly work on the Apple Watch, but the native one won't. Uh, FaceTime audio amazingly will not work without the iPhone. The FaceTime audio um, calling feature goes through the iPhone. Now, the interesting thing is if you have Wi-Fi calling enabled on your carrier, uh, such as T-Mobile and AT&T at some point in the next year, maybe. Um, if you have Wi-Fi calling enabled by your carrier and it's set up, your Apple Watch can call people without an iPhone present. So Wi-Fi calling fully works on the Apple Watch. So I'm really hoping my carrier adds support for that at some point. Um, this is a weird one that won't work without your iPhone. The Apple TV remote oddly goes through your iPhone to make that work. Without your iPhone, it won't work. It needs to be on the network uh, with your iPhone. Uh, so that's kind of lame. Maps. Um, it loads, but then it says it can't connect to my iPhone. It doesn't actually load any maps. So maps won't work. Um, this is kind of peculiar because I know Wi-Fi can provide location information. Not as accurate as GPS, but... Um, it's odd that that is not supported either. And of course, watch OS one apps, the non-native apps, of course, do not work because they need the iPhone, um, calendar. So the calendar sort of works. Um, it will open, but like mail, it shows a red phone icon, in the upper right, meaning it's not connected to the iPhone. The calendar won't update without the iPhone. Uh, if you add appointments to the Google Calendar using your laptop, they don't show on the watch. So it's updating your calendar through the iPhone. But that appointment actually does not get sent to my Google Calendar. It shows on the watch only. Um, so you can add a new appointment with Siri. So you can say, you can tell Siri, hey Siri, add an appointment and it will add it to your calendar, but on the watch only. It won't upload that. So. Um, once you're connected back to the phone, it will update. So you can be adding stuff to your calendar and uh, all on the watch without the phone present. 
it, but it just won't upload to the web until it's uh, back connected to uh, the iPhone. So this was tested with a Google account. So uh, I'd imagine it behaved the same for iCloud Calendar, but I'm not positive. Uh, the so that's basically it. Um, Third-party apps are where it's going to shine for Wi-Fi, as well as Wi-Fi calling and iMessage. So you really could have the watch as a fully functioning communication device uh, with Wi-Fi alone um, if you have the appropriate setup. Also, of course, Apple Pay works and the music app, of course, works uh, without uh, the phone present if you have stuff synced to it and you have a Bluetooth headset. So... That is an overview of what works and what doesn't work on Watch OS 2, at least the new stuff, um, the old stuff, of course, that worked on Watch OS 1 without the phone, uh, of course, will still work. So there you go. Thanks for tuning into this segment of Club Apple.